If you want to get more views that lead to thousands of hours of watch time on your videos, there are rules. You can't just create videos and cross your fingers. You will waste your time. So I'm going to give you the easiest way I know to get more views and watch time fast. In fact, I'm going to reveal a two-step tactic I just found that can literally explode your views and watch hours with about three minutes of work. Now, I know that sounds too good to be true, but for example, a few months ago, I posted this video and relatively speaking, the results were about as disappointing as an unsalted pretzel. So I spent three minutes implementing this simple two-step tactic and here's what happened. We went from about 10,000 views in 120 days up to 18,700 views just a week and a bit later. And as for watch hours, went from 650 all the way up to 1,355 extremely quickly and the results just keep on coming in. But here's where it gets really exciting because while getting an extra 9,000 views and hitting 1,300 watch hours very much pleased my ego, the thing that's cooler is that this bump in additional views and watch hours triggered the algorithm to start promoting my content more organically as well. And ultimately, that's the main way I drive millions of views and watch hours, not just to this channel, but across a bunch of the channels I work on. And the best part is it's really easy to implement this new tactic to get thousands of views and watch hours, no matter what niche you're in or what videos you're making. So let me show you exactly how I made it happen. You see, a few months ago, I published a video about Mr. Beast. And after a bit of playing around, the video took off and created all sorts of momentum for my channel. But here's the secret, because I did things a bit differently for this video to get more views that led to a ton of extra watch time. And you can model exactly what I did no matter what kind of channel you have or what videos you post and all you have to do is follow this two-step method. The first step is super important. It doesn't matter whether you're getting 10 views on your videos or 10 hundred thousand views on your videos. Your mission is to get every single viewer who clicks on your video to watch it all the way to the end. In other words, you need to maximize your audience retention. Now later in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to do this, but first a reality check. It's not going to be possible to get every single person who clicks on your video to watch it all all the way to the end. For example, in my case, I only managed to get about 20% of my viewers to the end of my Mr. Beast video. But here's the thing I really want you to get, and that is if you wanna succeed, you can't have that mindset. You need to stop using the excuse that most people don't watch videos all the way to the end to justify why your videos aren't getting as many views and watch hours as you'd like them to. And see, this is super important because not only is getting people to the end of your video the first step that roughly doubled the views and watch hours of this video we talked about earlier in a week or so, which we'll cover in a moment, but it also really improves the likelihood that the algorithm will promote your videos organically, which again, we'll talk about in more detail later in this video. So after step one, which is making it your goal to get everyone who clicks on your video to watch it all the way to the end and creating your new content accordingly, the next step is the part where we literally spend three minutes and get your video to blow up like this one. And here's how it works. See, at the end of the Mr. Beast video I published, I shouted out my own video, this video, and added an end screen so that people could click it before the Mr. Beast video ended. And remember, because I put such a big focus on trying to get as many of my viewers to the end of my Mr. Beast video as possible, and roughly 20% of them reached the end of the Mr. Beast video, that means thousands of people saw me promoting my other video and had a chance to click on the end screen. And out of the people who saw that shout out, about 7% of them clicked on that end screen and went to watch the video. And here's the proof that it worked. Check out these comments. Bro, this guy's good. I came here from another one of his videos and clicked on the next video at the end and he ain't lying to you. Or this one, you use the same advice to make us click on your next vid, mad respect. Okay, I'm in the loop now, you got me. All of these comments came from my Mr. Vs video and they're even acknowledging the fact that I managed to create a feedback loop that got them hooked into not just watching one of my videos, but then to watching another one of my videos and then hopefully another one of my videos and then hopefully another one of my videos. And that's the secret. When every single video you post creates some sort of feedback loop promoting another one of your videos, your views and watch hours can start to comment compound on themselves and grow much faster. Now I want to give you this specific example of my Mr. Beast video because it illustrates this tactic very clearly, but obviously it's a slightly exaggerated case because my Mr. Beast video got hundreds of thousands of views, right? But here's the thing most people miss. Even if you're a brand new channel, this tactic can work just as well, but on a smaller scale. For example, let's say you post 10 videos and on each one of those 10 videos, you implement the audience retention tips I'm going to share later in this video. So your videos are a lot higher quality, a lot more people watch them to the end. And let's say that on average, each of those videos gets 10 people, just 10 people to watch it all the way to the end. Now let's imagine out of those 10 people who watch your videos all the way to the end, you get about 20% of them to click on the end screen to go watch another one of your videos, which is actually a pretty reasonable end screen click through rate. For example, here are some other videos I've made. You can see this one, 25% of people clicked on the end screen or this one, 23.4% of people clicked on the end screen. So it's very possible. So if just 20% of them make it to your outro, see you promoting another one of your videos and click 
click on the end screens to the videos you're promoting, that's an additional 20 views for your channel that you've just generated essentially from nothing. If those 20 people then go and watch all your other videos all the way to the end, and maybe they even click on more end screens, that could be hundreds of additional minutes of watch time for almost zero effort. But it gets even better because when you start creating feedback loops like this, you're gonna get even more views organically from the YouTube algorithm too. Because the algorithm loves it when viewers keep coming back to the platform and watch multiple videos in one single session. This is often called session time. Here's the proof. YouTube themselves have specifically stated that their recommendation system, which is a fancy, more technically accurate way of describing what most of us plebs call the YouTube algorithm, aims to offer viewers more videos and channels they're likely to enjoy. And if viewers are returning to your channel regularly to watch more, they're more likely to be recommended more of your videos in the future. In other words, this help article is hinting at the fact that YouTube loves session times. It loves it when viewers watch multiple of your videos and come back for more. So when your viewers watch your videos all the way to the end and then watch another one of your videos and then click on another one of your videos and get caught up in a big feedback loop binging your videos, you're more likely to trigger the algorithm to organically promote your videos to those people and other people who have similar viewing habits on their YouTube homepages. Now you might be thinking, all right, Marcus, that makes sense. That's all well and good, but let's go back to step one. How can I actually get more people to watch my videos all the way to the end so that they actually end up seeing my promotions and clicking on my end screens? Well, audience retention could be an entire video topic on its own, but I wanna give you a simple exercise that could single-handedly increase your audience retention by up to 40%. So here's what you do. Next time you record a video, I want you to make it double the length that you normally would. Now, I'm not advising that you just extend the duration by adding in more filler content. I'm talking about doubling the length of your video with more legitimate content. So for example, if you're a clip compilation channel, instead of featuring 30 funny clips in your video, feature 60 funny clips in your video. If you're a Let's Play channel and you usually spend one hour recording your videos and cut them down to say 20 minutes, I want you to spend two hours recording a video and cut it down to say 40 minutes. If you're a tips and tricks channel and you normally create top 10 tips and tricks videos, I want you to create top 20 tips and tricks videos. You get the idea. Then once you've doubled the length of your video and recorded it, I want you to edit it down like you normally would. But once you finish editing it, I don't want you to post it. I want you to go away, forget about it, leave it a few days. Then come back to the video a few days later and I want you to remove a minimum of 40 to 50% of that entire video. So only the very best bits of content remain. Now when I say cut things out, that could include cutting out individual words and little bits of dead time within your sentences if you're speaking within your videos. But it also could mean cutting out entire sections of your video that just aren't good enough to make the top 50%. Now usually this might seem seem like a super aggressive cut and that you're wasting and losing a whole ton of content. But most of the time, in my experience, this is how aggressively you should be cutting down your videos to begin with. For example, on this video you're watching right now, I just checked my recording software and so far I've spent 29 minutes rambling because I think I'm super important and everyone wants to hear what I have to say. Now I'm going to stop this recording and my editor's going to come in afterwards and be like, yeah, no, Marcus, shut the up. And then he's going to get rid of the majority of my ramblings until this video will probably end up being about 7 to 15 minutes of only the top quality content. And most big YouTubers who have really high audience retention do this as well. Now you might be thinking, but Marcus, cutting down my video so much is going to hurt my watch hours because if my video was longer, I would have had more opportunities to get more watch hours from the same amount of viewers. And that's true. But remember, because you're cutting down your video by 40 to 50%, you're going to be left with a higher quality video that more people will watch all the way to the end. And then when your viewers reach the end of your video, I want you to hit them with this little gem. At the end of your video, I want you to add an end screen to your video. And also I want you to record a short but persuasive call to action, AKA a little segment where you essentially beg people to click on the video that's on screen. Now, I personally prefer to tailor my calls to action or CTAs for every single video. So each one is unique and flows nicely. But if you want a generic example of a call to action, you could say something like, if you enjoyed this video, click the video on screen because in it I'll teach you how to build a waterproof tea bag in Minecraft. Okay, so now you've cut down your video aggressively, you've only got the best moments, you've added a really strong call to action at the end of your video. What you're gonna do is you're gonna upload it to YouTube and after you've added your title and description and metadata and all that kind of thing, you're gonna come across to the video elements section and you're gonna come down and on the add and end screen option, you're gonna click on the add button. Then you're gonna come up and click on elements. You're gonna come down and click choose a specific video and then you're gonna select your how to make a waterproof tea bag in Minecraft tutorial video or whatever that video you're trying to promote is. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag it out, make it as big as possible and position it right front and center in the screen so 
people can't miss it. So then when you're begging all the people who made it to the end of your video to click on another one of your videos, there's gonna be a big end screen element right in front of them, front and center, easy for them to click on. If your goal is to get more views and watch hours, building these feedback loops into your videos is gonna be a great way to start compounding that. But obviously you're gonna get way better results with this strategy if your videos are already getting a lot of views because then more people are gonna make it to the end of your videos and see your promotions. And so that's why you should click on the video on screen because it reveals what is probably the most important factor to nail if you want your videos to get a lot of views. And spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with your titles or thumbnails. Check it out.